Hello friends, welcome to learning Star Pro training series. And in the previous video, we have seen the G plus three analysis as well as design with foundation. Now in this session, I will show you how to design and model steel tower. Because of so far we have discussed about the RCC portion, we have not discussed anything related to the steel portion. So now this is our first session of the creating steel structural and we will create a simple st steel tower and we will design and analysis using IES 800-2007 limit state method. So let us we will start. So first of all I will be clicking on new project. So space and uh, here I will be type the name steel tower. One. Make sure the units uh, are proper as per your project standards. So here I am taking the unit meter kilonewton. Next, finish. Now, next thing is we have to use this grid. So this grid will be become very much useful, handy when you are going to design steel tower or modeling for the steel tower. So I will be clicking on edit. Right now the plane of the grid is XY. So here as you can see XY plane. But I want to change XZ. So click off. Okay. Now if you are just clicking uh, first point and then clicking second point, third point, fourth point. So it will be create a beams as well as know everything. So let me undo everything. But I want to create only the nodes. So I am so I am clicking on snap node beam and use the control key. So you have to press and hold the control key and clicking on four corners. So as you can see, you are able to create only the nodes. You are not able to create uh, nodes with the beam. So if you want to create only the nodes, so you can use the control key and create. So you can press the control key and you can create the four nodes. So here in the nodes as you can see 0 0 time 0 time 10 and 0 time. So all the four nodes which are to be created. Now next thing is I want to little bit lift up my grid at a distance of y equal to 3 meter because of y is vertical. So lift up the grid at 3 meter as you can see and I want to create again node so snap node and create a node so snap node grid must be turned on and remove this unwanted and for the better view mode you can switch to the plan view so I am switching to the plan view so that it will be easy to model. So first point, second point. Now again I will be lifting up the grid with again 3 meter so that is 6 meter. So 6 meter grid my lift up the, now snap node beam. And make sure it should have again square then escape again I want to lift by 9 meter uh, again uh, lift up to the 3 meter so it will become a 9 and I am to just create a simple kind of uh, steel tower so that you can have the idea that how we can Proceed further for the steel tower. Again, I want to lift up. Now, at this time, I want to use the same function, same square, 4, 6, grid number. And then, after again, I want to lift it up with the 3 meter. So, that is 18, y equal to, and just pointing out the Using the control key, just pointing out the one node.
using the node cursor if anything you need to access that you have to be removed now if i see the thing in 3d view so as you can see it is display like this now i don't require the grid so i will be turn off the grid use the node cursor and remove the nodes which are to be created now i want to connect all this thing so add beam option so from here to here these are my brazings again i want to create a cross brazing here and you can use the left right arrow key so in order to understand the proper view you can use the left or right arrow key and make sure your brazing should be in a cross x direction so it should be a crossing type and then i want to repeat the taps to the all four side So as you can see, at one side we have completed everything. So same steps I want to be repeat for all the side. So the modeling process will be remain the same whether you are going to model in steel structure or rcp structure so in star pro what are the basic things that you need to understand that uh, first step is about modeling so depending on your project standards depending on your project or architectural drawing that you receive from the architects so you have to do the model then next after you have to after modeling then you have to add the proper materials proper section then after you have to apply the loading which are coming on that structure the loading may be in the form of dead load live load dead load is the self weight that it will be uh, encounter automatically then self weight uh, then after live load load finish load so all that things you can add so here as you can see my modeling process has been completed you can use the left arrow key right arrow key up arrow key down arrow key to view the structure from different angles so let me save this file and after modeling has been completed next we have to assign the supports so i will be go to the general and let's say first of all we have to add the section so for the rcc structure rcc defining structure so you can click on define and you can assign the rcc uh, member but for the section database i you can click on section database so it will be use your steel structure so i'm clicking on indian and let's say angle section i want to be assigned and you can assign any one of the angle section for the design point of view and you can also check whether that angle section is uh, applicable or not so let's say i'm assigning isa indian standard angle section 100 by 100 by 10 mm so add close and i'm assigning this to the view so it will be assigned to all the view obviously you can have some variation and uh, you can go to the supports and in the front view select the node cursor first you have to create the fix support clicking on the fix support and selecting all these parameters using the control key all the four nodes assigned to selected node and in the 
with 3D view, make sure it should be a properly selected and assigned. Yes. Now, next thing is you have to apply the load. So right now I am uh, checking only for the self fit. Okay, because of my maximum height is up to 18 meters, so I am checking only up to the self fit. So dead load, and I am applying the dead load and assigning the dead load self fit. Assign to view. Then after I will be add the analysis. Analysis, run analysis, save the file. And now you can uh, already familiar with this post processing mode. You can view all the results and everything. So I'm going to the modeling part, right click 3D rendering. This is my rendering view. So in your standard angle section has been assigned. Now, next thing is what we have to go for the designing portion. So I'm clicking on design. Obviously, I want to go for the steel design. So clicking on steel design and core is IS 800 to 2007 and level state method and select parameters. So select those parameters which uh, are useful for your design. So first of all, ultimate strength, strength of the steel that will, one will be required. Yield the strength of the steel, that one will be required. Then after effective length in three direction, X, Y, Z. Then after main allowable slenderness limit ratio. And then after allowable slenderness limit ratio for the tension as well. And clicking on OK. Now define parameter. So right now I am defining the parameter with the default value. So clicking on add and you have to assign all these things to your project. And then after commands, I want to check for the core. So that one will be add and let's say I want to also find the quantity takeoff. So still takeoff. Assign to view. Then after everything is now assigned. To ultimate yield strength. Then after effective length, x direction, y direction, and z direction. Everything is now going to be assigned and uh, check code. Everything is now assigned. So, in command, check code and take off. Take off, it will be take automatically and check code assigned to view. Now, let's we go analyze the thing and let me check. So, zero error, zero warning, zero notes. So, view output file, and as you can see. Still design is now available at here. You can also double click on anyone or uh, any one of the member and you can find it out that thing. And this is your steel takeoff. So total weight in ton, which is to be required of around 60 ton total length. And uh, you can find it out. Density is equal to mass upon volume or uh, you can find it out uh, density 7850 kg per meter uh, cube. So that one is the density of the steel. So you can use that formula and multiply by this length. So you can able to find the weight in terms of kg and divide by thousand. So that one will be find it out in terms of ton as well. So right now it is a display in kiloton. So 60 kiloton weight which is to be required in order to construct this steel tower and uh, as you can see, status pass, so everything is now going to be passed. And you can also go to the output cross processing mode and you can also take it uh, take it out the report. So for the report, you can go to the post processing mode 
and you get clicking on report let's say i want to add all the parameter okay so this is your report has been now generated okay so like this way you can able to create or design like this and same thing you can also repeat let's say foundation design and uh, i want to design for the dead load run star pro foundation and i want to create the study so there are four so create the study let's say steel tower isolated united state core will be indian and system of international assigned to all supports dead load case i want to check so it has been generated and you can checking out all the things and finally go to the design so as you can see four footing so there is information about i started putting one two three four and so on and this is the calculation sheet is also available at here okay so this is how you will be able to create simple steel structural tower you can assign section steel section as per your country standards and you can check it out and design in the structure as well